When we talk to customers like you, many of them tell us they're faced with challenges that are related to their IT infrastructure that are quite common. On one hand, IT and data center costs are on the rise, and on the other hand, IDC tells us that your budgets are either flat or they've actually gone down over the last few years. So you've got increasing demands, new requirements for more services, better application performance, yet you're actually having to spend less on those and do it in a smaller footprint. Well, the world is changing fast and so are your business needs. Your data center architectures need to be agile enough to be able to meet those needs as well as perform the tasks that are required. All the while, your job depends on meeting a very specific set of service level expectations. Doing all that with a limited budget, legacy architectures while data is growing faster than ever, and stakeholders want better application performance isn't realistic. So to address these needs, many customers have tried to scale out their environment. To achieve the required application performance, they've deployed more servers, which of course brings in more software licenses, more rack space, more power, more cooling costs, and they've also had to go and upgrade their SANs in order to drive a certain number of IOPS. This is also not a sustainable approach, and the results haven't turned out the way they hoped. New servers meant more applications, more licensing, uh, more footprint. They still experience very erratic application and database performance. Uh, limited storage results in low server utilization, you know, anywhere from 25 to 30 percent. The high demands on those storage devices, they often produce uncorrectable errors at the rate of about one every 28 days. That means data loss, that means performance application, means downtime. Now, application performance, as we said, still isn't scaling even with all that additional hardware. And to boot, the more we spend with additional servers and network and storage, the more we realize there's a bigger chance of having vendor lock-in. Now these customers that had set out to scale up application performance ran into some issues as we've discussed. What they actually scaled up were their costs and the amount of manpower required to run those applications. This is not a sustainable model and there needs to be a better way a way to get top-notch service, a way to get application performance with fewer servers and fewer software licenses. But you have to keep an eye on making sure that you support the SLAs and increasing the agility on the overall infrastructure to meet those needs, all at a lower overall cost. So what would a better solution look like? Obviously, it would require less hardware, less application licenses. Uh, it would run on fewer servers. It would run on less disk. It would deliver consistent, predictable, and blazing fast application and database performance. We would change the model by maximizing the, the server utilization. So instead of 25 or 30%, now we're talking about 80 or 90% utilization. How about reliability? Well, we can take those uncorrectable errors that were happening every 28 days and make them as rare as every 800 years with our technology. So you can scale up application and SQL performance as you need it, which gives you the agility that you're looking for, and you can get this capability from any of the major OEMs and avoid that vendor lock-in problem. That model, if you will, is the solution that you need. It has all the characteristics of a scalable model. Right now, there's only one company can do all this, and that's Fusion IO. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. 